Here we have a differing opinion. They went with a steel tube frame because it's much easier to manufacture. So I think a lot of it's a matter of what you're used to. Uh, it's, and it's also a matter of what you're set up for. So in 50 years, I don't think people are going to know how to weld steel tubes together anymore, but they'll know how to put it together in a carbon fiber tub very easily. We're in that transition period. Some people favor one over another. And I'm not going to say either team is right or wrong there. What this car has over the other is development. The theory understanding wasn't quite as good, but you were done how long before the competition? Beginning of April. April. Beginning of April. April. So they've got the hour to drive time. Yeah, over two months of chances to drive the car. And because of that, they were able to do much more development. And they got further through the process than Oregon did. And that's what allowed them finish a little higher here. So it's the members design, build, test, tune, understand. And they got more time to, to test and tune. And that's why they came out with a good running car. Although, I will have to say it's a little heavy on the, a little on the heavy side of 454 pounds. But although it's almost 150 pounds heavier than the other car, they have a little more horsepower and they have a little downforce from the under tray, the aerodynamics, the tunnels, and that helps make up for that. And the car, from what we saw, was easier to drive out there because of the development that you've done the tuning. We'll have to see that. Um, they've made a lot of changes based on test results. Again, that comes with the tuning. Decent engine package, not, not quite as strong in the theory. Uh, we went through and rated these also. This car had the of all the cars in the semi-final round, this team had the best understanding of the brake systems. Best brakes overall. So congratulations there. We also had the best cockpit. So we, we noticed that too. Also the drivetrain, the, eight, the development of their own differential with an eight to one torque bias ratio. And that was pretty innovative. Uh, we're glad to see somebody go out that far and try to go to the extreme and see what kind of benefits you can get out of it. If, if I had to pick a car that I would drive between the two, it, it would be this one because of the development. Good understanding of the internal engine modifications. I believe you lost 8% in your rotating inertia on the crankshaft? No. 5%. 5%? Okay. Well, you not only chopped out material, smoothed over, and did all that, you understand how much it was. And you know, a lot of people just remove it without going through and calculating how much it was that they did. So we'd love to see that kind of stuff. Uh, good internal engine modifications, prediction of rotating mats, excellent. And also a fairly good integration of systems. One person working on one system, understanding the system that makes to it fairly well. Wondering what it takes to make the design finals. You're looking at the two cars. All right. Congratulations to everyone. I think this is an excellent effort. And how many of you are going to be back next year? All right. <laughs> we'll see you here then. Thank you. Yeah.